Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, how to build a quench tank. So for those of you who are new to knife making, steel is hardened by heating it up to about 1500 degrees, give, give or take, depending on the steel, and then quenching it. Now, certain kinds of steel, including the kinds that I typically use, are quenched by being immersed in water. Now, I have a big, huge tank that I use for quenching swords, but knives don't require that much water. You can quench knives vertically into a bucket of water, but using the methods I employ, that causes the tip to be cooled more than the part of the blade closer to the tang. This can have a number of effects that I don't want, including exaggerated curvature toward the tip. So, I prefer to quench horizontally. In this video, I'll show a small quench tank I've made recently for quenching knives in. Of course, you can use plastic vats, PVC pipe, and so on, but I came up with this because it exactly fits my needs and it doesn't cost a ton. In fact, this whole project cost about 35 bucks. The tank will be made from wood. The problem with wooden quench tanks is that they expand when they get wet. Even if you seal them with caulk, they're prone to leaking. So this tank has many small design features that are designed to ameliorate that problem. Here are the materials. One six foot piece of six by one inch pine and another of eight by one inch. Some one and a half inch brads, some outdoor paint spray, and some silicon caulk. And that's it. I looked at a ton of boards at Home Depot to get the straightest boards they had. Warp boards will wreck the project. So don't just grab and go. The only power tool I used was a router. You could do this with a chisel or a dado cutter on a table saw too. I also used some clamps, a straight edge, a mallet, and a hand saw. Very simple. I'll start by cutting this six inch wide piece into two 36 inch lengths. The eight inch piece is cut into one 36 inch section and two eight inch sections. Either buy high grade boards or try to find pieces that are clear of knots. Knots can work out over time and pop holes in your tank. First I route out two channels roughly one eighth inch deep and about a quarter of an inch from the side on both sides of the one by eight inch board. Now the same on the 8 inch long board. I'll also route a channel along the bottom edge of each. By using a tongue and groove joint like this, I'm giving the tank walls more surface area to join together so that expansion and contraction during use is less likely to cause leaks. Once all the grooves are routed out, I'll test fit to make sure everything works. If it doesn't, I can clean things up with a chisel. Everything looks good, so I'll run a big old gob of silicon caulk down each of these channels. I really want to fill them up. Without 100% coverage, this joint will still leak. Now I'll knock everything together again. and then nail it together with brads and this girly little cross peen hammer. I don't want to use big nails as those can cause splitting and splitting equals leaking. I'll also run an extra line of caulk down the inside of each seam for good measure, smearing it into the joints with my finger to assure 100% coverage. Once the caulk is cured, I paint it with a durable indoor-outdoor paint. 
If I really wanted to go buck wild, I'd use spray on truck bed liner or rubberized paint. But those cost $4 a can more than this paint, and God forbid I blow the budget for Mom's big surgery on fancy schmancy paint. I kid. Here's how it works. And here's a knife. This isn't actually the one I quenched here, but it gives a sense of completeness, as though, in the end, all our work adds up to something more than just a futile gesture. And after all, isn't that why we're here? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, waltersorrelsblades.com, where you can find more of my work. You'll also find plenty more videos there that you can't find on YouTube with very, very detailed information about all aspects of Japanese blade making. Also, like me on Facebook at Walter Sorrels Blades.